All right, well, good morning and welcome back to my channel. So today, before we get into it, we're gonna have, I'm gonna show you a free geography program, a low cost geography program. I'm gonna show a see inside for the geography skill sharpeners. Skill sharpeners geography from blah, 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 Evan Moore. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you products of the day and give you a piece of advice. First, the piece of advice is, if you are not using it, take it out of your schoolroom. If you're not, so if it's currently, and I'm talking curriculum, not necessarily talking book, but products, books, if you can, and any curriculum you are not using, pull it out of your homeschool room and box it up for another time or put it on another shelf in another room, just to keep it as less cluttered as possible to help keep you more relaxed. Your brain, whether you know it or not, catalogs everything in your environment, whether you're aware of it or not. So the less stuff you have, it should help you overall your mood. So just consider removing any products that you are currently not using. Even if it's like, oh, next semester I'm gonna use this. Well, put it in the next semester spot at the shelf. Okay, so just consider that. Any of the products I show here, I've not been paid to show you them. Like no one has sent me this and been like, here, it's free, try it out. So with that being said, let me show you the first product. This is the first product. It is a raincoat that I have used. Look at it, it's lined. It's thick. I have used it for years. I have two of them for the two littlest boys. I've used them for years. And what's awesome about it, besides the fact that it comes with waterproof pants, is that they have gotten it so muddy, so sandy, so dirty, and I throw it in the wash and then in the dryer without even thinking about it. I know, and the dryer. Am I supposed to do that? Probably not, I don't even know. But it is held up, which is why I like it. Years now, years. and. The sketchy things I have pulled out of those pockets, I cannot even tell you. So because we're talking about geography, I'm gonna show you a couple geography products, which I have showed you before. So on one side here, ooh. So this is the world map, but it's not labeled, okay? And then on the back of it, it's the United States map, also not labeled. So I recommend using wet erase markers instead of dry erase, just because it, it's, like dry erase, if I hit it, it's gonna wipe off, but wet erase, they're a bit stronger. But anyway, that you can find on the website under geography. Let me show you the next one. This one, of course, is the popping mat. I talk about all the time, but I'm gonna talk about it today as well and how we're using it in our jar. So there it is. I just don't wanna open it because you know I'm doing a big overseas move soon. These are reusable stickers. So you take them off, put them on whatever country you're studying. Okay, two more products or a couple more products I wanna show you. Tomorrow I got some great language arts products to show you, but for today I'm gonna to do one language arts thing to show you. This is the No Nonsense Guide to Grammar. I found it at the library. Look at that, adverbs. So it's for kind of older kids, and then tomorrow I got books for younger kids to help explain. But it's basically, I wanna say it's like, I don't know, just a manual, a grammar manual. Right, grammar, right? Yeah, a grammar manual for, I wanna say middle school age even high school, whoever needs help in it, whoever doesn't understand or needs to learn some stuff, even a teacher, a teacher's manual. I would use this perhaps as my backup manual. Well, I don't even have a current manual, but I'll probably edit that last part up. Okay. Okay, so art therapy activity for kids. So I'm just gonna show you some, a couple things. So here you make a box and then your child's put the worries in so that you think about them later. That is a great way, especially if you have anxiety, if you have health anxiety. So because I've studied anxiety for years, coaching for years, I have a, an entire book on health anxiety and how to heal from it, which is hypochondria. So if you worried about your, that you're sick all the time, you're always checking, are you sick, are you sick? Or your child, you're worried that your child's sick, something like that, that's the book that would help with it. And in it, one of the methods is to worry about it later, to check it later. So if you have something that you're continually checking, continually checking, to schedule time to check it later, and that's what the worry box is, it's encouraging your child to check it later. Lastly is meaningful painting. So meaningful paintings, as in just paint out your feelings. Like that's essentially what they're saying, because I mean, I don't know, they, they go into like, oh, let's take a paper bag and let's do that and let's make these really pretty, but I'm all for just paint out your anger. If you want to do slashes, slashes, if you're feeling black and you paint black on there, whatever you're feeling, paint it out. All right, so let's get to it. <laughs> okay, so let's first start with your program options. So you have, today we're gonna be talking about the free one from Core Knowledge. We're gonna be talking about the Skill Sharpeners Geography by Evan Moore, and we're gonna be talking about the Guest Hollow one. 
So both the Skill Sharpeners Geography and the Guest Hollow are cost money, but it's very low priced for each, as you will see. Especially the Guest Hollow one, because you can use it over and over again for years and go back with different information. Now, none of the programs I'm showing you are literacy based, which means there's not a lot of books that go along with them. And if the books do go along with them, they're educational. They're not storybooks, right? Like for example, when, I, when we study, we're gonna do it in the summer. And when we study, where's my map? Where's my map? When we study a country here, what I wanna do, so when we study, say we're gonna study France, I wanna know information about that country, but I also want to read like Madeline, the book Madeline from the library and some famous, maybe some famous French books that have been translated into English like Madeline. So for example, and then you can go get some croissants, right? but learn something about geography. Now, geography in our house is a secondary subject, meaning we do it for enjoyment. We will do it in the summer. In the summer, it'll be a, funny thi a fun thing where we can put the reusable stickers on there, but let's look at some different options. Before we get into those three curriculums, I forgot, there's kind of a fourth one. It is a fourth one, it's not kind of. And it's a book you can get at the library. It's Geography for Every Kid by Janice Van Cleve. Okay, she has them on a million different topics. So it's for, it's for, it says on the back here, ages eight through 12. So the earth in space, the history of map mapping, explorers, global addresses, mapping a sphere, using a map scale, finding places and legends. How do you use a legend when reading the map? Variation, compass rows, mapping the ocean floor, contour mapping, hurricane tracking, seasons, time zones, atmospheric circulation, weather and climate, climate regions, waters, lands in the earth and people, population and location. So what's interesting about geography is that it overlaps in the science. So if you wanted to take a few months and teach it, I mean, it overlaps in the science as well. So that's what, you know, that's what we're gonna do in summer. So these are for older kids, remember? But it's got everything you need in this book teaching you about this. It's even got activities as well. Clay maps. So this, that's the history of mapping. These are explorers, how early explorers used maps. So just remember that geography at the young age, I think it should just be fun because anything you need to learn about maps and things like that, they'll remember more when they get older. But of course, making a map of your neighborhood is important in case they get lost, you wanna teach them, you know, as best you can about the world. And it is fun to learn about the world. The world's a very exciting, fun place. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> okay, so enough of that, you get that. So that's for middle schoolers. Let's talk skill sharpeners for geography. So let's go, so let's go to the table contents. So it covers places and regions, physical systems, human systems, and environment and society. So this is not my favorite book of theirs because it doesn't cover too much of the world, but kind of cool, covers the United States. So under places and regions, let's go back to the beginning of places and regions. So this is the end. So this is the beginning of places and regions. So this is a world map. Okay, so once again, you're learning about the world map. And one of the books you can use is the maps book. I've showed it to you in the last video. I've showed it to you in the geography video, so I'll include um, a video at the end, which is a look into, it's got a bunch more geography products and stuff that are kind of cool. But this pairs perfectly with this map, right? That map there. So, and then you glue out the states that they're talking about. Here's some more states. So I think that's cool, and that's in the grade one that it covers. Now back to here, I'll just take you through the beginning. So they all kind of cover the same thing these Evan Moore ones, like if you're like, hey, should I get the pre-K, the K, or the or the one? They all kind of cover the same stuff, but a little different. Like they all cover, hey, make a map of your room, make a map of your house, make a map. So they're teaching you basic things about maps. This one goes into supermarket aisles though, the grade one, and things like that. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Remember, this one would pair great with this book because it covers, this is the Usborne Book of Animals. I'm doing an Usborne haul. But this covers, what is it called? <laughs> Sphere, no, biomes, eh, I forget. So look at this, map skills again, landforms and bodies of water, continents and oceans checklist and habitats, that's what it is. So this covers a bunch of different habitats, some of these same habitats as well. 
So you're able to take a look at that. Now that guest hollow curriculum that I am talking about that I did a video on that I will attach at the end, it goes through habitats, biomes, countries, continents. So it does, oh, I'm trying to get the first page. So it covers a lot of stuff. Yes, my darling, I'm just flipping through this book. Hold on. Places on the map, but let's go to biomes or habitats, okay? So these are the habitats that we are covering. So if we're not covering giant countries, I like the idea of covering different habitats because again, it goes over into science, right? A desert match. So it's very simple. All these pages are perforated so you can pull them out. One of the ways to homeschool that I used to homeschool when the kids were really young in preschool is I had all these preschool, different preschool books and the pages are perforated and if they weren't, I cut them out. And I had a bin for each child and I would just put in any topics that I want to cover. I would pull the perforated pages and put in there and then after they were done, I would hole punch them and put them in a binder. Ugh. All right, so it definitely has, you know, there's the rainforest habitat and things like that. Okay, so this is for older kids. This goes along with the Guest Hollow. This is the book they recommend. And I like it because it covers United States, um, United States regions, it covers North and South American geography and global geography. So it's, but it's from grades three to six, so it's a bit older, but it covers those things I just talked about. So the globe, the continents, oceans, hemisphere, meridians, you know, North and South. I know it must drive you nuts how I, how I show you these things, but basically map, map, skills, geography, Pacific states, but it's got different kinds of maps, like political maps. Okay. Hannah's house, seating. But let's go to the fun stuff. I wanna go down, there's, see it's got more state stuff, but it's cool. It's got like, Georgia shares these mountains with South Carolina. So it's got some cool stuff. Look at an atlas or map of Georgia and then find this stuff on it. So kind of neat and still pairs with, we can go remove those stickers, then when they get older, cover this. So Florida the Sun, abbreviate these states, there's North and South America. Let's just take a look at that for a minute. Within continents. Oh, Canada. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, that's Mexico, Central America. So it makes a nice addition if you just wanna get books. Like say you just wanna cover the maps. Like if you just wanna cover geography and countries, you could just get the maps book and get this book and pair them together. And then just Google any stories that go along with it. Use that map and put some stickers on it. And I think you are good to go for a fun geography curriculum, but it just depends how deep you want to go and what your age your child is and what you want to learn. Can you say hello, Lachlan? All right, I gotta go. Talk to you later.
You just eat food? Oh, wow.